Well, for more on the story, we're joined now by Richard Weitz. He's the director of the Center for Political and Military Analysis at the Hudson Institute in Washington. Thanks so much for joining us. Do you think this dialogue between Russia and the Gulf states could lead to any sort of real progress on the peace process in Syria? Well, the main fear at present is the collapse of the peace process and upsurge of fighting throughout the country. So far, there's been localized fighting, but in other places, the ceasefire is held. So I think that rather than a breakthrough, what they might try and do is sort of reinforce the foundations of the, of the agreement, figure out how to reestablish some of the uh, equilibrium and, and, and quiet uh, areas we had before. Uh, I don't anticipate any major breakthrough just because of the, the actors, they're missing some key actors, Turkey, the United States, and so on. So they're missing key actors, and also Russia and Saudi are actually at odds over whom exactly to negotiate with in Syria. Some groups Russia sees as terrorists and Saudi sees as good negotiating partners. So how is that supposed to get resolved? Well, that's the same difference between the United States and uh, Russia and other countries in Russia, and, and not only in Syria, uh, you know, in, in different areas we've seen this problem. Again, I, I think that the primarily this will serve as a mechanism to exchange views. Uh, the, the Saudi uh, foreign minister said that he also wanted to talk about Iraq and Iran. I imagine we'll talk a bit about oil prices, since that's a common concern, and terrorism. So, whereas I don't anticipate much other than talking about how to reinforce the Syrian uh, ceasefire, you might see a, a richer exchange of views on some of the other areas of concern between the groups. But since these countries are still, in a sense, among the power brokers in Syria, what do you think they should do next? Well, there's, it's not clear to me that what anyone can do at the moment is going to be able to bring peace to Syria, just because even though that you, you can define them as power brokers, then none of these countries, or even the United States or Europe or any other single actor, has enough power to by itself to bring about peace, nor even with cooperation of a couple countries. There are just so many actors there. They're following different groups. Some seem to be uh, irresponsive to any outside control, such as al-Nusra and the Islamic State. So I think it's going to take a, a destruction by military force of the recalcitrant terrorist groups, the two I mentioned. And then I think you'll be able to get maybe a negotiated settlement uh, in which you'll have to have many countries play or won't, and find the outcome acceptable or it won't be in, enduring. Okay, Richard Weitz, we'll have to leave it there. Thanks so much for joining us, as always, from Washington.